Let's move on to the next question. We're now moving from dislocation problems to leg length discrepancy problems. And this question reads, all of the following intraoperative techniques may result in lengthening of the operative leg during total hip arthroplasty, except. The correct answer to this question is except increasing the femoral neck offset. As all of you are aware, changing the femoral neck offset, if you do only a change of the femoral neck offset without adding a longer neck length, will not have any effect on the overall length of the limb. Increasing the femoral neck length increases the length of the limb. Insertion of a stem incompletely would, of course, potentially lead to a long limb. Making a very high femoral neck cut inappropriately high could increase the length of the limb. And placing the cup very much more inferiorly could increase the length of the limb. So question, uh, this question has the correct answer as number one, the rest are distractors. A few comments briefly about leg length discrepancy. It's said to be the most common reason for litigation following total hip arthroplasty. That's been true historically. I, I'm not certain if it conti continues to be true. Operative limb lengthening is usually the reason that the patient's dissatisfied. Shortening is not a common reason for dissatisfaction. It's important to know that leg length discrepancy can either be a true leg length discrepancy or an apparent leg length discrepancy. And it's important to understand how the position of the hip affects the relative length of the limb. Abduction contractors make the limb feel long. Adduction contractors make the limb feel short. And good preoperative planning to identify what level the neck cut should occur at, what size stem should be placed, what neck length should be used, what femoral offset will restore the biomechanics of the hip can reduce the likelihood of postoperative limb length discrepancy. Limb length discrepancy typically presents by the patient perceiving a limb length discrepancy. And it's important to understand that early on after surgery, that's a fairly common feeling because many patients have a modest abduction contracture for a few months after surgery, which gradually resolves. You can measure limb length discrepancy in terms of true limb length discrepancy and apparent limb length discrepancy. True limb length is measured by measuring from the ASIS to the medial malleolus. Apparent limb length discrepancy typically is measured by having the patient lie supine on the table and check a relative position of the medial malleoli with the legs in neutral position. Evaluation of leg length discrepancy typically uh, can occur if you're looking just at the hip level by a plain AP pelvis film and then evaluating the position of fixed positions of the pelvis relative to fixed positions of the femur and that usually is the bottom of the ischial spine, excuse me, of the ischii relative to the position of the lesser trochanter as documented on this diagram. If you want to know the true limb length discrepancy, though accompanying the whole limb, one has to do a scanogram. And remember, again, the point made here that changing femoral offset will not increase limb length if you change femoral offset alone. Treatment of limb length discrepancy. Most of these problems can be treated non-operatively. And it's important to remember that early on after surgery, it's common and usually no treatment is indicated. And it's, in fact, not good to treat most of these patients early on. Rather, try to allow the soft tissue contractures to resolve. If it remains symptomatic, in most cases, a shoe lift for the opposite uh, limb will be sufficient to manage the problem successfully. And only in very rare situations with major leg length discrepancies that are causing major clinical problems would revision surgery be indicated. Remember, this is a major operation. It carries with it a risk of instability afterwards. And most surgeons are reluctant to do this, except under very extreme situations. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.